Welcome in, everybody. It's Main Street Today time. And oh my gosh, we've got some big news to announce in just a few minutes. But first, I'm going to introduce you to the music of, I mean, you know how I am. I don't just listen to music. I adopt musicians and songwriters as if they were my very own. We're going to be meeting a young man from North Carolina. You are going to absolutely love, absolutely love. We're going to start out with a video of him. Now, I said, anybody who can play Stevie Ray Vaughan music on a flat top guitar in front of a barn and just kill it, whoo, you got to meet Presley. Presley Barker is the stuff. You're going to want to know about his new single. We're going to talk to him in just a few minutes. And a big old announcement and a personality with a heart as big as his personality. <laughs> I cannot wait for you to hear the news. So stand by. Take a look. We're going to meet him in just a few minutes, but now we're going to meet somebody yes, else. There we are. I'm so excited to welcome Big Joe Dubin to our studios and to Thank our you. family. Yeah, I love it. I'm so excited, Devin, to meet you and to meet the team here and to be this new adventure in my life. And uh, I'm so happy to, to be embraced and it's so positive here and wonderful. And I just, I'm ready to get going. Well, he's always on the go. Big Joe. Is always on the go somewhere, right? I know, and I don't know because I had never met you in person, but I feel like I know you because I've ridden <laughs> around in your car, seen where the snow is during the winter time. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, right? We went all <laughs> over. We went, I found out streets in Nashville I never knew existed back in that was five days in February. But you know, we provided a service for people to get out of their driveways and what to avoid, what not to avoid. So new today, I tell people when you get into news, if you're going to be a sports person, you better be a news person because there's no telling where they're going to use you and where you're going to go. And so it was a lot of fun. Very, very cool. And you are going to be part of some really cool events. Like we talked about, where's the cool places to go to fireworks? Yeah. So Saturday I'm hosting the Fairview fireworks, which I've been told is a big deal. And so we were going to do it last year. We got postponed because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And they asked me again this year. And I said, you sure you got the right person? And so they're like, we're going to do this. And so Fairview, I'll be out there Saturday night. We got Rubik's Groove going to be playing a great 80s cover band. We got fireworks, everything else. So I'm really looking forward to it. And thanks for asking for me, Fairview, for me coming out there this week. Well, I'm just excited. And tell people what you're going to be doing for Main Street Media. So, you know, for a long time, I've been doing the Big Joe segments, going around town, you know, positive community, fun stories, men on the street. There's, you know, Jay Leno used to do those jaywalking segments. Yeah. Having fun with people. And so we're going to be kind of doing that as well, but mainly focusing on Middle Tennessee on the areas and the people that live here. And so we're doing podcasts. 
We're doing like a daily news update, a couple of minutes, what's happening in the world and still writing columns and telling people stories. And I think storytelling, Devin, has been going on for hundreds of years. And after we're gone, we'll still be here for hundreds of more years. And it's a lost art. And yeah. Main Street Media has been bringing that back for years now. Yeah. You know, and so it's wonderful. It's a wonderful place. And I'm so excited to be here. Well, we're excited to have you. And oh my gosh, people are saying, hey, uh -oh. Terry Luno saying, hey, Ginger McClendon, the cheerleader of Hendersonville. Yes. Welcome to our team. We're happy that you're with us. I, I'm really excited. In there, and I was, I had a wonderful run, six years at Channel 4, a, a wonderful time, made great, worked with some really crazy, insanely talented people. Uh, that inspired me and their lifelong friends. I had a great time there. And there were opportunities to not work in media, to go out, but I'm talking to Dave here at Main Street and meeting you and other people, you guys get it. You, you get the community aspect. Mm -hmm. And it's creative and it's fun and it's it resonates with people. And I was like, who does not want to be a part of this? This I is know. great. I know. I, I get – we get – notes every day from people and one of the places where we have 14 newspapers that will say you ran my grandson's picture they come into yes. the wilson post and they go i need 10 copies to send to everybody well you can't even though we're on facebook and even though we're on social media you can't clip that and send it to someone you're right you can't put it in a scrapbook you're right which gives me a story when i was talking to the day here at main street when my mother passed away 10 years ago my brother had a footlock. We've been through all my mother's stuff. And my brother called me and said, you need to come over here right now. I found mm -hmm. something. I'm like, well, we've been through everything. Had a footlocker. And part of the footlocker, which we didn't look into, was an envelope. And I go, and my brother's like, here, look at this. And I'm like, what is this? He dumps it out. It was every newspaper article I'd ever been in growing up, not college, high school, youth. My mother cut it out. So yes, that's gone now. Mm -hmm. It was gone for a long time. Main Street brought it back. Mm -hmm. And I've seen people that's like, hey, my son was in the Main Street or my daughter's in Main Street. And they that tradition continues. Yes. You know, and that, that means the world. So if my son or daughter's in the paper, mm -hmm. I'm cutting it out. And I'm saving that forever. Yeah, that's right. Forever. I can't save the Facebook clip, right? Yeah. But I can save the article in the paper. So that all resonated and came together for me. Like, this is a wonderful opportunity. Well, we are just excited about the opportunity to have you with us on our team. You and Larry Woody and Miss Cheap. Nonstop. I'm telling Plus, you. Plus, you got the exclusive today. This is my first and only live interview that we'll be doing. Well, the so first. You. It is the first. It is the exclusive. But <laughs> it's also one of the first and, and, and many more to come. I hope so. Because I'm going to come find you. I'll be around. I might just go on the road with Joe. You, you're welcome anytime. Because we like to talk to our people. So. Yep. And there are some wonderful people all throughout Middle Tennessee, mm -hmm. and their stories need to be told. Where can they get in touch with you if they've got a story? Uh, you can hit me up on Facebook. Uh, I've got a fan page that we had to create because Facebook only allows you 5,000 friends. I know. So if you create a fan page, you can have untold millions, which I don't have. But <laughs> uh, Facebook or hit me on Twitter or my email is simple. It's go at gmail.com. See? Simple. That's the way we do it. I need it simple like that. So it's way to get that way. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Devin. Thank you. Stay we're going to play the new single, Time Machine, from Presley Barker, and we're going to meet him live, LinkedIn, from his home in North Carolina next. Yeah, I was on the radio in the kitchen. Mama's cooking on the stove. Just singing that old rock and roll. Get up, baby, so and have me on the front porch. Swing. Somebody made me move. Somebody made me groove. Somebody made me want to get on up and put on my own blue sway shoes. I wish I had a throwback time machine. Singing back to 1963. Singing on the song, spinning on the strings. Looking for the king and the Cadillac. Gonna take a ride like that and take me back. On the guitar, strumming, I played every single note. Um, nothing sounds like that these days. Hell, Nashville, I'm in this. I'm a coming. I hear what's going on. It's all sound like the same song. I need some blues I can use with some rhythm too. It makes me wanna sing along. I wish I had a throwback time machine. Take me back to 1963. 
singing all the songs, spinning on the strings, looking for the king in the Cadillac. Gonna take a ride like that and take it back. You know, you just Presley, you are amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I got to ask, how old are you? I'm 16 years old. I'm almost 17. Lord have mercy. I was still playing in mud, as Jerry House used to say. 16 years old, almost 17, but you can play. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. It. <laughs> being in North Carolina, did you cut your teeth in bluegrass? I grew up, I grew up uh, singing and playing that my whole life. Uh, growing up, I took lessons from, from a local teacher uh, in our area, and I'd started going out to these festivals and fiddlers conventions, really uh, competing in the guitar competitions and just being around these old old guys and and this music uh, really uh, really helped me uh, dig dig my roots really and start uh, just start playing it, and I've moved on. And, and I've been trying other stuff and now I'm singing country and uh, for the past two or three years now I've been doing that and uh, yeah, just uh, having a great time doing it and I uh, can't wait to do it some more. Well, you've had some success. I mean, let's talk about this little adventure, you know, <laughs> on the stage of American Idol going out to Hollywood to be part of that crowd and getting to meet those judges. Tell me, how, what did that feel like? That was awesome. You know, watching watching American Idol for years at home was pretty cool, but being there in person was even better. Uh, getting to be in front of them was pretty awesome. Uh, I have to say it was a great experience that I had, and it was so much fun. Met a lot of cool people, and uh, yeah, it was, it was just a, a great experience as a whole. I, I really enjoyed it. Well, anybody who knows my buddy Ricky Skaggs, to play in on a stage with him – you can't just be good. You got to be great. His no, band, Ken me. Kentucky, his band, Kentucky Thunder, is as precision a group as I have ever heard. But here you are. Guess who you're on stage with? Oh my lordy! How old were you when you were on stage with Ricky at the Grand Ole Opry? Uh, I think I was around 13 when I got to play the Grand Ole Opry with Ricky Skaggs and Kentucky Thunder, and that was that was an absolute dream for me to to play the Grand Ole Opry. It's some it's a place that that I always dreamed of getting to play, and uh, I really do hope I get to play it again sometime. Uh, but it was just amazing to me getting to stand on that stage uh, on the legendary stage of the Opry was how. Amazing. How did you meet Ricky and how did that connection happen at a bluegrass festival? Well, yes, it actually was. It was um, at a festival in Virginia, mm -hmm. in Galax, Virginia called uh, oh. Fest. And uh, my buddy Wayne Henderson is actually, he built this guitar for me. He's a legendary guitar maker. Uh, I was actually hanging out backstage with him and uh, Ricky was scheduled to be playing uh, oh. at Houston Fest that same day. And he was backstage and Wayne said, let me introduce you to Mr. Skaggs here. So uh, <laughs> it was pretty, I mean, it was getting to meet somebody like that. And uh, I've looked up to him for a long time and uh, always listened to his music. And uh, he's a great man. Uh, it's just an honor for me, for sure. Wow. Uh, well, Miranda says, hello and welcome Presley. And absolutely. We are so glad that you are here. And I'm, 
I just cannot wait for people to find out more. The new, uh, the new single time machine just came out a couple of weeks ago. Where can they get all of your music? And you're going to be releasing singles throughout the summer. So yeah. let's hear a little bit about how they can find you and where they can find you. Yeah. It's on all streaming platforms, wherever you listen to your music, iTunes, Spotify, uh, it's anywhere where, uh, you love to listen to music at, it'll be there. So, um, I've been, I've been, I've been going to release a few more singles, uh, all through the summer, like, um, like you said, and, um, looking forward to doing that. And it's going to be, uh, uh, all through Spotify for sure. And, uh, well, anybody that can play Stevie Ray Vaughan on a flat top standing in a barnyard has got my vote. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that was awesome. That's it was up here at my, at my grandma and grandpa's farm. That is incredible. Well, sweetheart, we just welcome you and follow Presley on Instagram. Presley yeah. Barker, what's your handle on, on Instagram? Yes, my Instagram is the Presley Barker, and it's also the same on Facebook. Oh, Awesome. And you are the Presley Barker. Ain't nobody like you, my darling. Oh, <laughs> you take care. You have a good one. All right. I appreciate bye -bye. it. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, we're going to go full on rock and roll in just a second with Manny Blue, who is standing by. I He's got a cool video. We're going to play it in just a second. But first, we're going to tell you about the Williamson County Fair, because that's coming up August 6th through the 14th. Cock a doodle moo, we're crawling with excitement, they say, and it's going to take place. And know before you go, they've got the clear bag policy. And you can find all about that on their, their Facebook page for the Williamson County Fair starting August 6th. I'm going to try to be there because, you know, if there's a fair, I'm going to be there. And they're taking June 15th. They started with pre-registration for all the people who are going to be competing. And... Don't forget the fairest of the fair pageant is going to be Sunday night, June 15th. So if you want to be part of that competition, all my pageant girls, y'all get together because the fairest of the fair, they got some pretty girls in Williamson County. So if you want to be a part of that, you go to the Williamson County Facebook page and click like and follow along. We'll take you to the midway and just give you an idea of what's coming. Why do I go to the fair? Yeah. Loving the Williamson County Fair. Miranda, I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. Hey, I want to tell you, we got somebody standing by that you're going to love his music. His name is Manny Blue, and I'm going to kick things off with a video that he did. And man, this video is great. I absolutely love it. And the hook line of this song, all my, all my fellow songwriters out there, listen to the hook. It's so very cool. I'm a bad decision that you want to make But just look in the middle, playing it safe Don't tiptoe around it, it's your move to make Quit talking about it If you're gonna play with fire Go on and burn this whole voice out let those buddies get higher Till you can't find your way out If you're gonna fall like an angel If you're gonna fly with me If you're gonna dance with the devil Hell, you might as well leave. We already need Forgiveness, so what's one more sin? We both want to do this if you're in I'm in. Big out an old cash song, but 
I got that whole Jason Momoa film kind of film noir kind of thing going on. Manny Blue joins us. Hi, baby doll. I love oh, that. You? Oh Thank my you. gosh. Thank you so much. Um, that was the second video that we I got to kind of really have a, an input in and, and something that I really um, had an idea for that I really wanted to pursue. Um, uh, this one in, in my music video for Old Money. There's a message in the, in both those songs that I really wanted to uh, showcase and um, really put forth. So um, I'm I'm really proud of this video. It was a lot of fun to to shoot, and um, I think it came out really really cool. I'm really happy with it. Oh my gosh, it came out cool. It's like a whole feature film shrunk down <laughs> to a video. There's a lot of story going on there. Well, when you did it, when you thought of this song. Cause I love mm -hmm. the hook. You know, if you're going to mm -hmm. dance with the devil, you might as well lead. Oh my, mm -hmm. what a hook. Where did that hook come from? Uh, the songwriters. Um, it was sent to me um, when I was up in, uh, I was up in Canada during COVID. We were touring. Um, I'm from Montreal and we were, our last show was in Toronto and uh, everybody was going to, you know, take the bus drive back down to, to Nashville. And, and I said, well, my, it's my, it's my birthday. It's my brother's, uh, girlfriend's birthday. Everybody's partying uh, up back home. So I said, let me go over there, wait three weeks. This whole, you know, COVID will go wash by and, and I'll head back to Nashville and we'll get back to work. So uh, I was there from March to about September, end of September. Um, and we, we decided that we wanted to start working on another album. So it was really kind of virtual over the phone, this song, that song, what do you want to do? How do you want to do this? You know, what, what's the vibe? And, um, you know, this song came at me at a really, really cool time. And, um, when I, I, it was definitely one, it came later in the bunch. Uh, I'm like, cool. There's just something missing. Like there's something that I really want that I, I haven't heard yet on any of these songs. And, and, and then this one came along and uh, I was like, for sure slam dunk. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. It is. It is in film. We have a lot of at the Franklin theater. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I yeah. think a lot of people recognize that. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was super cool to, to be able to do something in Tennessee uh, and something mm -hmm. somewhat recognizable. Um, yeah. It was something I really wanted in, in the video. And, and uh, I think that the, the guys at, at gear seven, who the production company did a really good job at, at using the entire building uh, to, to tell the story. It was phenomenal. It, it you know, and I know the, the cool thing about this show is we don't um, have to, 
stick with country because I always say it's music city. It's not country music city. And let's take a look. Uh, you know, I know my Louisiana family weighing in. I like country, but this guy is good. <laughs> I know. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then Miranda love Manny and people are really responding. Good music is good music. I agree. And you can do a real deep dive on Manny Blue, B-L-U, take a look at the spelling. Tell people how they can find you on the internet. Uh, YouTube, we have we have other music videos. Uh, we got some live stuff uh, we're still releasing called Live and Turned Up. Um, we've got sort of two versions of that. And uh, you can find me on Instagram, Manny Blue Music, mannybluemusic.com, sign up to the newsletter uh, and stay up to date. And uh, YouTube, Manny Blue Music, TikTok, Manny Blue Music. You got a TikTok now, so we're doing yes. that thing. Um, so yeah, Manny Blue Music on, on just about everything. Manny Blue Music artist page on Facebook. Um, and uh, yeah, we're out here having fun. You know, a lot of people don't realize, and, and we, you know, we, we kind of get to be little whiny babies in America because, you know, we go, my gosh, we had to wear a mask. But in Canada, you mm. couldn't even go from province to province. You know, yeah. I, a friend of mine who is from Nova Scotia, her producer is in Ontario and, but they couldn't even cross the border into New Brunswick. I mean, yeah, I think the Atlantic side also had their own bubble. Um, and okay. my my brother goes back between uh, Montreal and Toronto quite a bit. And there's that they were they was never sure if he was going to hit that sort of uh, border of if there was a, some kind of province border control of, of any yeah. kind because they didn't they were trying to keep travelers in their own in their own provinces, which is crazy. And, and Montreal, I don't know about the rest of the, the provinces, but I know Montreal had. Uh, um, curfews and uh at time and, and the cops are roaming the streets so yeah oh ma a, a mask to go to a restaurant is really not a big deal when uh when there's <laughs> other stuff like that going around so <laughs> you know well i'm just glad that the music came out of it i want to ask you a personal question yes how did you maintain your sanity during all this because it was really hard on our music makers to not I mean, there are a lot of people who were deemed essential, and so they got to go about life, but mm -hmm. music makers really didn't. So how did you maintain your sanity? Um, a lot of Bud Light. Um, <laughs> now, I mean, I was able to go home. I share an apartment with my brother uh, back home in Montreal. So I was able, I don't see my family very much uh, while, I'm, while I'm in Nashville. So uh, part of it was getting to, to my parents live across the street. So I was able to see them and, and hang out with my brother and, oh. you know, we play card games at night or, or whatever, when, when everything was really, really kind of locked down. So, um, we were just hanging out and playing and, and I have a, a really cool group of friends that we would have, uh, you know, sort of a cocktail hour on Thursday nights and, um, and on a zoom and, and that'd be really fun. Um, and then also just, just wanting to and being creative we had an album you know that was recorded already and, and we wanted to put out in 2020 which we did in november um called new ink but uh in the midst of that just constantly having creative conversations um kept my yeah. mind you know going still and um and uh i didn't know when i'd get back to nashville but but i was planning for for doing a lot of things and and live and turned up was a product of covid just because we weren't able to be out on the road um, I really believe in our, our live show and, 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 and the band. So um, we wanted to showcase that in any way we can and, and doing live versions of covers or live versions of original music um, on a stage was, was our way to do that. So, I mean, we didn't really stop. We just didn't go out, um, but, but the creativity st stayed uh, there. And, and uh, I think there's good, we're putting out a lot of content this year with the new EP live and turned up two volumes of that um, and, and working on, on new stuff as well. Well, we encourage everybody follow Manny Blue, follow his music. And he mentioned live. So we're going to close our interview with you live on stage. Can we do that? You want me to play? I don't have my guitar. You No, no, no. I already got it. Oh, I got let's, you. Let's go. It's part of your series. You know, honey, Perfect. we got the band. We got we got to do the whole <laughs> rock and roll thing. It's you better. know, <laughs> it's better that way. I love that. That's perfect. Sorry. Yes, that's perfect. I love that. Well, we're going to close. Bye, Manny. We so enjoyed getting to meet you. Take Thank you care. so much for having me. Thank you. Bye. Baby, eat wherever you are Cut a path through the midnight dark Hope you wear those jeans and that black leather jacket Those high heels will make a whole lot of racket Crash to the door for a few black smoke Straight up the stairs in the room you know Don't slow down when you hear the shit Bring that good Johnny Fools
Lord have mercy. That man makes me want to go get my leather Harley jacket out of my closet, go to Evolution Studios in Hendersonville, get me a tattoo. I just love him. Manny Blue, you can follow him. And tonight, Pan Fest, third in Lindsley. Oh my gosh. Dave Pahanish and a gazillion other people will be there. It's going to be the greatest show ever. I mean, let me read this lineup. Taylor McCall, Sam Banks, Will Jones, Ben Chapman, Meg McCree, Gabe Lee, John Goolsby, Dan Alley, George Shingleton. Oh, my Lord. Tyler Halverson, Hector Tellez Jr., Harper O'Neill, uh, Matt Warren, and, of course, Dave Pahanish, and some special guests, as if those weren't special enough. Well, we're going to close with a little sneak peek into the life of Dave Pahanish as we say goodbye. Remember, be safe, be kind, and most of all, remember you are loved. I'm Dave Pahanish is my name. I'm a songwriter, producer, and performer. I'm always writing and uh, always producing something, whether it's records for other people or demos or albums for myself, and uh, I still have a pretty significant tour schedule. I, I just follow the voices inside my head and outside. I've always been inspired by, uh, by music from the 60s, all kinds of music really, the 50s, 60s, 70s music, and uh, started playing guitar when I was 10 years old, and that just felt like home. And then I uh, played guitar all through college. I wrote a little bit, but it wasn't until I, uh, I got to college I started actually writing my own songs and started trying to emulate the people that I really liked, like the Beatles, Jackson Brown, Johnny Mitchell, whatever. And then uh, once I picked up the pen in college, I just never put it down. I started writing, and the songwriting just felt very good.